All right, here we go. Morning hunt begins. We're uh, out here where I was yesterday, where that old man tried to tell me I was on private property or, or on a piece of public I couldn't hunt. Anyways, that video just went live probably an hour ago, and I have already read like 30 comments of uh, you guys with your stories, so thanks for responding. Uh, if you didn't get to see the video, go back a day, or go back one video, and uh, check that out. We talk about private land access and public land and stuff like that, so. Chad went uh, Chad went out with another buddy to check another canyon. Hopefully they turn up a bull. Um, apparently a bull had been hitting their trail camera, so they're going to try to turn him up. Me and Vino, we're on the lookout today. We're right back where we were last night, and uh, I really feel like this is a good morning spot. If there's elk around, we should see him today. <laughs> Fingers crossed. What do you think? I think we should. Hit the brakes pretty hard. First time they came by, they honked and yelled something out the window. This time they just drove by, but man, I'm telling you, this is a rough, rough group out here. These locals <laughs> always yeah. trying to scare us off, but uh, just drove by this time. So I think we're gonna glass here for just like 10, 20 more minutes. And if it's slow, we'll probably move, and try to cover some new ground, check some new spots, but man. I just want to see an elk so bad. My goal is to see an elk on this hunt. Have fun and see an elk. <laughs> Crazy. This used to be really, really fun to hunt elk out here, but they've just really wiped them out because farmers like these guys don't like them because they say they tear up their crops. So they're trying to get rid of the herd. They're doing a good job because I haven't seen Jack out here. Well, here's the highlight of the day. This guy's trying to cross the road in front of me. He's on the move. Drove right over him. <laughs> Funny sucker. Well, I'm sure you guys can already tell. We did not see any elk today. That's why we're driving on the road and playing with tarantulas pretty slow I know uh, Chad went out and from what I heard he didn't see any elk either so we're back to square one just trying to find some elk but uh, until then we'll play with snakes and tarantulas it seems to be all we can find take some photos with our bulls there we go B team <laughs> they're taking the quads we're loading up the quads no more pussy footing, dude none of that let's get it done we are we're gonna go look for some new country today man we have glassed and glassed and glassed and now we need to get a new perspective and and uh check for tracks so the plan is to we're gonna load the four wheelers up and um we're just gonna cruise these little four wheeler roads down in the canyons and check for tracks tracks never lie guys i've always said that i love i love checking tracks and uh, if we can find some fresh stuff we'll know where to be we are all loaded up this uh, gun rack, I was using it for my bow, just gave it a twist. Now I'm using it for the rifle, but got the weather bee inside the snug fit case. Be nice and protected there. That's sweet. Backpack loaded up. He's got his weather bee backpack. Three months are ready to go. It's time. All right, guys, we're going to get down in here, see if we can find some milk. I've checked a lot of my best spots out here and there is nothing, no tracks or anything. So, super frustrating, super, super frustrating to be on an elk hunt and not even see an elk. But, it only takes one. 
I don't need to see a lot of elk, I just need to see the one, right? So, uh, that's what's keeping me positive, is just knowing that anything can happen at any time, and that's how it's been out here. Sometimes you go multiple days without seeing elk, and then they show up. So we're just going to stick to our guns and keep doing what we do best. And it's covering ground and glassing. Sure would be nice to see an elk though. Like, <laughs> just to see an elk with antlers in within our unit would uh, be really motivating. But that's alright. We're, we're going to wrap this up tonight. Um, and do what we can for the last light. And then head back to camp and get some food. I shouldn't say camp. Cabin. <laughs> Not used to staying in a cabin. But... We'll go back, get dinner, and uh, do our best tomorrow. Getting all the goods. Guys, apparently we're really bad elk hunters, so we're gonna do elk, uh, a little bit of an elk cooking video tonight. We're gonna show you my favorite recipe for um, elk burger. So we're picking up a few items and a few snacks okay. for tomorrow. Okay. We'll need it because we're gonna pack one out tomorrow. <laughs> we're always thinking positive, always staying positive. But uh, yeah, we've got a really good recipe for burger. It's great for deer, elk, antelope, uh, beef, you name it. So we're just gonna grab a bunch of stuff here and uh, we'll, we'll be back in the cabin to show you guys. Okay guys, we're, we are preparing these burgers. Here's the main items you need. Burger, we have elk burger from Vino's Bull last year. Big velvet six point, a cool bull. And then you need your favorite barbecue sauce. My favorite is Sweet Baby Ray's. And they have all kind of flavors. Uh, we just have the original barbecue sauce this time. So we're gonna do that. You just gotta get a bowl. Even works really well in a Ziploc bag. If you put it in a Ziploc, you don't get your hands all messy, but we can't find any. So I'm just gonna get to mixing this up with the Sweet Baby Ray's. With wild game meat, which is really lean, I think this barbecue sauce actually helps keep it together when you patty it up. So that's also a bonus. All right, we've got that mixed up. Big old hunk of meat. We're gonna make, uh, there's three of us, so we're gonna make three patties out of that. There you go, that's one. Lean, organic elk burger. Check that out. Oh my gosh. Guys, if you have never tried elk meat, um, I don't know how, I mean, go hunting if you can, but if you have an opportunity to try elk meat, you should. Um, they do sell it commercially, um, like farm-raised elk at some restaurants. But uh, nothing beats a wild elk burger. Especially when you top it with not wild bacon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we do hunt pigs, but we don't have any uh, any wild pig bacon right now, right? Nope. So, we're gonna crisp the bacon first, and then we'll get the, uh, we'll get the burgers on next. We're gonna be topping it with some cheese. I'm going with the pepper jack cheese. I think, uh, these guys are all about the Kobe Jack style. All right, we are going to try something I've never done before because I'm usually cooking this stuff on a grill, but we're gonna take the burger and cook it in the bacon grease. <laughs> That's bad, huh? That's bad. <laughs> Here we go, let's see. Just throw them on? Throw them on. It's gonna get crazy right here. Okay, we're gonna let those uh, sear on both sides, and we'll be ready. It's funny, I just texted Chad. I told him that uh, I told Chad that we already ate, <laughs> and that it's getting cold. And if he doesn't hurry up, we're gonna eat his hamburger. I think he just texted me. Let's see what he said. <laughs> that kid eats like crazy. I eat a lot of food, and so does Chad. He's always hungry like me. There he is. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> He's pissed. Damn it! 
We're getting, we're getting whooped. We are getting dominated on this Dude, hunt. we are getting pumped bad. I got something that'll cheer you up though. What? Come look at this. Elk burgers? Oh yeah. Bacon elk burgers? Bacon elk burger, my yes. man. Sweet baby Ray Woo! style. All right. Dude, that's looking good. <laughs> that's looking amazing. Guys, are you following the Chad Chad's version of this? Go check out Chad Mendez's channel. He's got his videos. Uh, he's doing the same thing, video a day. Yeah. Oh man. That's what's Nino, up. You're spoiling us, dude. All right, we're serving them up. Mm. Three elk burgers. Two of us are men eating pepper jack cheese. <laughs> Who's the lady here? Hey, I didn't have any say in this. <laughs> <laughs> Top it with some bacon, guys. Get all your favorite toppings. We have bacon, tomato, and lettuce. If you want, it's great to just squeeze a little bit more of the barbecue sauce on. Mm. And you're ready to rock and roll, so... Rock and roll. That's it. Super simple. Guys, like I said, you can do it with beef. You can do it with any burger. Just mix that uh, uh, barbecue sauce in with it, and it's good. We're going to get... Chad's reaction when he get, takes a bite in there. <laughs> As you can see, he's pretty happy. <laughs> Woo! A little bit of mayo. A lot of bit of mayo. You ready for this? I'm ready for it. Oh, yeah. Mmm! <laughs> so good. <laughs> Vino's going for it. Nom. Oh, that's so good. Mmm. Oh, man. Oh, bacon man. cheeseburger. Oh, there you bacon go, guys. Cheeseburger. You recommend it? Highly. Okay. Try that out yourself, guys. And like I said, go check out Chad's channel. Please subscribe to him, too. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm going to choke on my bacon.